You can use the Measure tool to calculate the volume of 3D objects. You can also use the same tool to find volumes based on two-dimensional areas and objects as well. In the Utilities panel of the Home ribbon, I'll click on the Measure tool and choose Volume. Notice that AutoCAD prompts me to specify the first corner point, and in the Command window, I can see a number of options, including the ability to select objects and add and subtract volumes. I'll start by finding the volume based on this irregular shape. I'll start by using Object Snap to select the corners of this shape. Once I'm done selecting the corners, I'll press Enter. Next, AutoCAD prompts me to specify a height. I can either pick a point with my cursor or type a height value using the keyboard. I'll type 24 and press Enter. AutoCAD immediately displays the volume, both in the panel adjacent to the cursor and in the command window. The volume is measured in current drawing units. I can also find the volume of objects. I'll choose the Volume tool and then right-click and choose the Object option. Then I'll click to select this circle. As soon as I do, AutoCAD again prompts me to specify a height. I'll type 18 and press Enter. And notice that AutoCAD immediately displays the calculated volume measured in current drawing units. I can also use the Volume Add and Volume Subtract options to calculate volumes. For example, suppose I want to find the volume of this rectangle minus these circles, and perhaps the circles don't pass through the entire volume of the rectangle. I'll select the Volume tool again, but this time, when AutoCAD prompts me to specify the first corner point, I'll right-click and choose the Add Volume option from the shortcut menu. Then, when AutoCAD repeats the prompt to specify the first corner point, I'll start snapping to the corners of the rectangle. Once I've selected all four corners, and I can see that the rectangle is shaded green, I'll press Enter. Now AutoCAD prompts me for the height. I'll type 48 and press Enter. Notice that AutoCAD now displays the total volume of the rectangle. Now I'm ready to subtract the circles. I'll right-click and choose Subtract Volume from the shortcut menu. Then I'll right-click again and choose the Object option. Notice that I'm now in Subtract mode and AutoCAD is prompting me to select objects. I'll click to select one of the circles. Since the circle is not a 3D object, AutoCAD prompts me to specify a height. I'll specify 24 units for this one. I'll select the next circle and then again AutoCAD prompts me for the height. I'll enter 36 units. I'll select the third circle, and then I'll specify a height of 6 units for this one. And I'll select the fourth circle, and specify a height of 18 units for this one. Notice that when I select each circle to subtract, it gets shaded red. Green is for add, red is for subtract. Once all of the circles have been selected, I can press Enter to get the total volume, which is displayed both adjacent to the cursor and in the command window.